Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I've got a little different video for you today. Um, we haven't posted one of these in quite a while and some of y'all are gonna enjoy it because y'all actually request this type of video. No, it's not my shower. I am right in the middle of working on this shower. I was hoping to have this shower video up today, Monday. Uh, it's not gonna work. Um, just got sidetracked with a lot of extra jobs. So I found some footage of Braxton making a video and it was kind of a, uh, huh? Bye. Bye. Love you. Braxton's going to work actually. So anyway, I found some footage of him making a, it's not really a cooking video, but it's him, um, explaining vanilla basically. And you guys will enjoy this video if, if you're, you know, if you like the cooking style videos. Um, it was a, a homework project for him. He's homeschooled. He has to do, uh, like this is kind of like a book report for him. Um, I know this is something like your normal school probably wouldn't do video homework, but this is a video homework for him. He had to do a lot of research. He did a lot of studying. He put a lot of time in this. This is a 31 minute video from him, but I had to edit an hour and a half of video because he had so much information in here. It was crazy. So anyway, I didn't want to make the video an hour and a half long, so I cut a lot of it out. But you're, I think you'll still enjoy it. We'll get back to the shower videos here in two days. So this video on the shower should come out Wednesday. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm Braxton, and today we're gonna be talking about vanilla. Vanilla is a kind of, well, depends on like what kind of vanilla we're talking about. Vanilla, in a general sense, is a flavor, okay? You know, you have vanilla flavored coffee, you have vanilla flavored ice cream, stuff like that, right? A lot of people think vanilla is sort of a bland, normal flavor. Um, and I'm honestly here just to change that perspective because it's wrong. Normally, vanilla comes from right here. This is a vanilla bean. I'll show you that. A vanilla bean. This is where the essence of vanilla is derived, okay? And I'll show you that up more right? closer person. This is called a vanilla bean. Let's see if it'll focus. Maybe. Look at that. So that's a vanilla bean, right? Beautiful. Okay. Smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. Um, the, this is how uh, we got the flavor of vanilla. Okay. Vanilla beans are grown in, I believe... The, okay, it's, they're grown in the tropics, I know, and I believe it's about a 50 mile difference, like north and south from the equator, like about 10 to 20 degrees, um, like north and south of the equator is the only place that vanilla beans can be grown. Um, so they're pretty special, they're special ingredients. Um, it's, they're, they're, they're hard to get. Um, they're grown only in the tropics, but it's even harder to get them like this because they have to be grown, first of all, hard to do because they're in the tropics. They have to be fermented, which is like, the way they ferment them is they take these um, beans, which are green to begin with, just like string beans. Um, they grow on the, I don't think it's a vine, but they grow off the plant green, like a green bean. Uh, they lay them out, they dry them, um, they're layered, so you have like these beans that are layered and stacked on top of each other. They're dried, they're fermented, and then they're stored and sent to different stores that you buy them from. So like, this, these vanilla beans are, I got, I got from Walmart. Um, because of that process, they're super expensive. And it's a really hard flavor. I'm gonna make sure that it's focusing on my face. Uh, be, so because of that, they're super hard to get, um, and they're super expensive. Um, this one right here was twelve dollars, just one bean. Um, so I bought three of them, uh, meaning that I, I spent thirty-six dollars getting just three of these little vanilla beans. But they're special, okay? Um, on the off chance that you use a vanilla bean in a certain recipe, so like vanilla beans can be used in 
ice cream. They can be used in cheesecake. They can be used in a meringue. Um, they can be used in, I'm trying to think of something else they can be used in, a cake, right? Um, they're super, super flavorful. They give you that vanilla flavor. And honestly, it's a b way better than using vanilla extract. You get that amazing flavor and it is top notch. It's some of the best stuff you can try. So with the vanilla beans, you can make vanilla extract. Um, this is just some baking extract that I got from the store. Um, this is real, all natural vanilla extract. Um, I'm gonna tell you this now. Don't buy imitation extract. It's just not worth it. It will not give you the same taste. It's not right. Um, I would, if a, if a recipe calls for vanilla extract and all you have is imitation extract, I would rather just not even use it because it, it really, it just does not give you that vanilla flavor. It's not right. It's not, um, it's not the same. You know what I mean? Another thing similar to vanilla extract, we have vanilla bean paste, which is super interesting. I don't think any, uh, actually, I don't really know if any of you have seen this, but it's super interesting. Um, we'll see if the camera can focus on it. Now, it's sort of like this paste, right? Like it's a liquid. See those beans? Or see those seeds? It's getting my face. See those seeds, right? That's the seed from the bean. And it's super, uh, it smells amazing, first of all. You just, you have to know that. Mmm, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And look here, I'll, I'll pour some of it out into this, into the cap. Let's see if it's, is it, yep. Yeah. It's amazing. Let's see if I can move the camera. See, it's sort of like this jelly. It's like this jelly stuff. It's so good. And vanilla bean paste can be substituted for extract in any recipe. Um, it's super helpful if you don't want to spend the money for a whole vanilla bean. Um, and if you want to add like that sort of spice and that flavor to your dish um, that you wouldn't normally get from extract. So super awesome. I love vanilla bean paste. It's super cool. Um, in, in Walmart, I know it's, they're su it's super hard to find. It's going to be actually in Walmart. It's going to be in the cake decorating aisle okay not in the market but in the not in the market section but over in the like appliances section where you get the birthday cards and stuff like that it'll be in the um party supplies sort of stuff um you'll see like this like all sorts of stuff there um and vanilla bean paste it's right there it's awesome it's so good and it's a cheaper alternative to using a whole vanilla bean and vanilla extract as opposed to using them separately. Um, so lots of vanilla, lots of ways you can use vanilla. Super, super good. Either one of these, all three of these are great options. Um, but in the video, in this video, I want to show you, um, I want to really hone in on vanilla beans. Okay. Oh no, I moved. I moved it! Oh no! Okay, one really cool thing about the bean is you want to know uh, if it's fresh or not, okay? And the best way to tell is to take it like this, okay, and then sort of go like that around. And see, this one isn't as fresh as it could be. Um, it should keep its shape, which it kind of did, but on that first one, it did split. I don't know if you can see that. Um, on that first sort of turn around my finger, it's split. So this one is kind of dry, which is fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's just like, whenever you're trying to infuse something with this, um, like sugar, it's not gonna have as great of a taste. Um, but that's good. So that's the way to see if it's fresh. Now, I'm gonna show you how to scrape the vanilla bean. Uh, if none of you have seen vanilla beans, this is gonna be super weird for you but um, just trust the process, I promise, okay? I'm gonna bring you over here to the counter. That's not very at all. Okay, 
So, all you need is a paring knife like this, your bean, and uh, a surface to cut it on. Now, for vanilla beans, they're so expensive, I don't like any of it to go to waste, um, except for the end parts. The end parts can go. We don't really use the part, that part. So we'll just sort of cut those parts, and then we'll throw those in the trash later, okay? Um, what you'll do is you'll lay it flat like this, just like this, and you'll take your knife, okay? This is, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know how to hold a knife, but you'll take your knife, cut into it, don't cut in all the way though. Don't cut to the very bottom, just cut halfway through. And then you'll cut along down the bean, just like this. Okay. Sometimes you'll get some hills or some valleys in it. It's okay. Then we'll come over here and cut the other part, just like that. And we'll cut all the way through to the side. Okay. So we've split it like this, okay? We've cut it in half. Now we're going to take the dull side of our knife, which I don't know, I think it's this part right here. And we're going to put it into our cut that we just made, like this, and make it go in half like that. Do you, do you see what I'm doing there? I'm gonna get you a little in a little close. Oh, make it go outer. So we're just sort of opening her, you know what I mean? Open the bean, just like this. And this is a dirty sport. You're probably gonna get a little dirty. It's probably, it's perfectly fine. Nothing you can't handle. Okay, we'll take our dull side, which is this side, and we'll just run it along like this. And this is how you get the um, uh, seeds out of your bean. So you see that? Vanilla bean seeds. Okay, we'll just sort of get that off the knife right there. Go over it a couple more times. Just make sure you get everything out. You're gonna get a lot, so be prepared. We're gonna come over here and do this side. Try to remember which side the dull side is this side. And you'll get these like little strings from the pot itself. That's fine. That's all right. I think that just adds to the flavor. It doesn't subtract from it in any way. Um, so it's good. But once you've split and scraped your bean, you'll have your seeds. Just like that. Let me see if I can get it focusing a little more. Look at that. And this we can use in our recipe, right? Whatever recipe we're using. And then this, I'll show you what to do with this later. So we'll just put this to the side. And then we'll do this again. Three more times. Two more times, because I have two more. We have split and scraped three beans, okay? That's what it'll say to do in the recipe, is split and scrape your bean. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you one really cool thing you can do with your vanilla seeds, which is make vanilla sugar. Get a bowl. Oh, jeez. Put all of your seeds in there. Perfect. So, um, oh, and there's just seeds like on the counter too, so. Vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar is super cool. I'm gonna take this piece out. 
and this piece out. So vanilla sugar is actually really awesome. Um, it is a substitute for regular sugar that just adds the vanilla flavor. So per bean, I would say probably just a cup is fine. It's really just, you know, an eyeball. You just eyeball it. I would say a cup is probably the perfect ratio. Oh, it's a little wet. That wouldn't have been fun. And if you're in a restaurant, don't do this, okay? You can't just be cleaning stuff with your own shirt. Like, that's not how that works. Okay. So we'll do a cup of this granulated, granulated sugar. Perfect, okay. So we'll add that. And then each time you add a cup, you go in and you just sort of each time you add a cup, you just sort of go in and just massage it through, okay? Massage the bean through. And you'll start seeing the beans pop up. And you'll just sort of rub it through your fingers. Like this. Like a this. And whenever you find those sort of clumps, rub them through the fingers and they'll come out and just like little itty bitty pieces of seed. It's awesome. It's really cool it's very yummy too it's it's awesome it's it's a um you know equivalent ratio of sugar to vanilla sugar um and it's just something you can replace in a recipe to give it that vanilla taste if it doesn't already have that vanilla taste so just like the vanilla bean paste you can use this as um a replacement to buying a whole brand new bean and adding it to your mixture of like cake batter or whatever, you can just add this vanilla sugar to it and you get those sort of specks and the um, seed and whatnot. We're gonna add the second and third cup. All right, cup two. We'll do the same thing, massage. Mom and dad are home. I can hear them outside making a ruckus. Disrupting my video. My YouTube video. How dare they? Okay, and then cup number three. And a tap 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 tap. And a little more sugar. In it goes. We have a pretty full bowl here, but that's okay. Just make sure none of it spills out onto the table like I just did. Again, if you find any clumps, just roll them out on your fingertips. Now we have the vanilla sugar. Looks good. You can see the little specks and everything. See the specks. And, oh gosh. I'm, no, I'm not good at this. And now what we'll do is we'll just put some saran wrap over this bowl of sugar. It smells good. Ah, it smells like vanilla. So what we can actually do is add the bean itself to the vanilla and that will also you know sort of extract the flavor into the vanilla or into the sugar. Um, but when you you know if you do that the vanilla bean is there's some moisture to it so the sugar will bond with that water and that moisture so it might get clumpy you know, it's just a lot safer just to put the seeds in the sugar itself. Now we'll get saran wrap and just cover it. So we have this little slide cutter on our thing. It's amazing, I love it so much. All you do is just pull out however much you need. Like, we'll probably say like that much. That's a lot, but it's okay. And then you'll just slide. Isn't that perfect? Love it. And then it just like connects to your arm because saran wrap never works for me. Why? I don't know. The gods have made it, have willed it so. The God, the one and only God, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I wonder if Jesus had a middle name. I think Jesus had a middle name. I bet it was Carter Lee. It's my middle name. 
Okay, and when you have it in the saran wrap like this, you can sort of just mix it like that, okay? Just make sure the saran wrap doesn't come off or that would be sad, just like this. And again, you'll see those like sort of, you'll see those little rinds in it. And again, that's, that's like, that's fine. That's okay. It is bound to happen, um, and it, but it doesn't make it taste bad. Um, but you know, that's just, that's, I'm privy to that. I don't really mind it. Some people might, I don't know. I don't know why you would be mad at it, but. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make homemade vanilla extract. Super cool, okay guys? I got these little peanut butter chocolate Rice Krispies from, from work today. Super interesting, very peanut buttery. I can smell it. Mm. Yep, that's peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter. You know who does though? My mother. My mother would love that. It's like perfect between a Rice Krispie treat and peanut butter, and then there's chocolate in it. That's awesome. Uh, mom would love that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go give that to mom. Okay, take this, put it up wherever you put your sugar. <sighs> this is the weird part, okay guys? Just bear with me, okay? The good old Russian soda, okay? You can do any high proof alcohol. alcohol. Now, this is vanilla extract from the store. Ingredients, water, okay? Sugar, okay? A lot of store bought extracts have sugar in them. We won't be putting sugar in ours because we don't need to. Wow, there is just so much sugar on this counter, it's okay. Um, vanilla ex ex extract made of water, alcohol, and extractive of the vanilla bean. And then alcohol, extra alcohol. So, you need to have alcohol. And this is our alcohol uh, choice because it's a neutral flavor. We're gonna get a jar with an airtight lid. So we have a mason jar, and instead of using the mason jar lid, I got these lids off Amazon, and they have a little plastic insert that keeps it super, super airtight. Okay, what you'll do is take your bean like this and just place it in there, place it in the jar, just like this. Okay. Place it in there. And again, like it doesn't really matter. Um, you can have halved ones, like if your jar isn't big enough to hold the whole thing, cut it in half, put it in there, that's fine. Um, now what we'll do is I'll bring you down to the counter and show you the process of making homemade extract. So let's do, oh, and then, you know what, I'll show you mine. So this is my extract. Yeah, does not look great? Um, I'll open it. it smells like extract. Um, I can use this right now as extract. I'm waiting until all of this is gone, which I'm, it's going to be gone in this episode because we're going to use all of it. Um, but I'll tell you why we use all of it once we come down to the counter, okay? Mm. Now I'm using this big jar because I'm going to add all of my vanilla beans and my extract to this just because I need more. I'm about to run out of space. So what we're going to do is all you have to do is fill it up to about to where it's covering the bean not covering so what I'm gonna do is just fill it I don't know if you can see but there's a line right there I'm gonna fill it to that line so that right there is all you need what you would do is if this is what you're starting with you would cover you would um, bend those beans to get them covered in the in the alcohol um, but now you're done. Like this is this is extract. You cover this bad boy up and you're done. In about two years, one to two years, this is gonna be extract, okay? Now, you might not want to wait that long, which I understand, I don't want to. So what we'll do instead of waiting that long is cut it with extract from the store. Um, the reason being so you can use it immediately. 
So what we'll do is we'll cut it about half and half. So we'll have half extract, half vodka. So I'm just going to fill it up to that next line, basically. Just add the whole thing. See? I told you. It's right there. That's extract as well. Um, give it a swirl. Smell it. It smells like extract. You know what extract smells like. Smell this. It's gonna be the same thing. Um, now you have now you have extract. Okay. This is extract that is ready to use right now. What are you gonna do with it though? Right. Don't put this in a fridge. Don't do it. Leave it out at room temp forever, you know? You're not gonna put vanilla extract from the store in the fridge, neither are you gonna put extract in this extract in the fridge as well. Okay, this is homemade. There's no need, you're gonna just ruin it if you do it, so leave it out at room temp, let it sit. Every once in a while, if you walk by it, give it a swirl. Yeah, that's really all you need to do. I mean, just, if you're like, oh, I should probably just, you know, I should just, I'm bored, might as well just swirl it a little bit. You know, that's all you need to do, just, you know, get the flavors enveloped. Um, but that is extracted. You're able to use it right now. Um, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my extract to this, and I'm going to show you something. Okay. This is something that I didn't know, but if you look in here, you can see all my beans that I've used. Right? Those are a bunch of vanilla beans, halved, because it's such a small little jar that I had to. But see all that? I'm gonna see if I can pull one out. That's been there for probably four months. Let's see if it'll focus. You're never gonna take the beans out, okay? You always leave the beans in there. There's no need to. It's just gonna get you a bigger, it's gonna get you a better those beans being in there are just going to get you a richer, better flavor. Never take them out. I'm going to add everything to this jar. The flavor compounds in the vanilla bean are alcohol soluble. Meaning the alcohol, whatever 80 proof, I'm using 80 proof alcohol, you don't have to. Um, but the alcohol is going to dissolve those flavor compounds um, and it's going to bring out that flavor. It's going to extract that flavor from the vanilla bean, getting you a liquid, right? That's how that works. Another cool thing about, you know, the alcohol in it is that it means this stuff will never go bad. You'll never have mold, you'll never have discoloration. There will never be like an off smell. They will always stay good. So that's why like you keep the beans in there for the lifetime of the extract itself. So I think that's so fascinating, right? The alcohol in it is keeping it as, you know, extract. You to search for. Excuse you, go away, Siri. Okay. Thank you. Always trying to ruin my conversations. <laughs> but no, so this will never go bad. This right here, a never-ending supply of vanilla extract. This is great for prepping, which we're getting into. Um, over here, over there at the Fowler Family Farm, we're getting into prepping. This is basically the apex of prepping, I think, in my, in my opinion, obviously, just because I like to make food. Okay, so now you have four ways of using vanilla in your recipes. You have your homemade extract that you made yourself. You have store-bought extract that, you know, is okay. It's not perfect, um, neither is yours, but I would just say the homemade stuff is probably better. Um, you have the actual vanilla bean itself that is you know, split and scraped, and then you have vanilla bean paste. So other than that, you're, oh. you're cutting your head off. That's okay, they don't need to see my hair. They won't. <laughs> it's all right, they don't need to see my hair. Yes they do, it looks really good. They saw it a little bit. Okay, bye. <sighs> Always messing up my videos, I swear. 
I'm always messing up my video. Anyway, so that's gonna be it. Uh, now that mom's in here, mom, come here. Oh, I gotta go. Dad's waiting on me. He's mad. Just give me a second. Just one second. One second. First off, there's two two things I want you to do. Okay. First off, smell that. Mm -hmm. Smells like vanilla extract, doesn't it? Isn't that crazy? And something else. And vodka, yeah. but it smells really good. So does. <laughs> So does um, this stuff. This stuff smells like. But you can't see me. By yeah. The way. Smell that. What does that smell like? It smells like vodka as Dude, well. It smells disgusting. That smells amazing. Yeah. It'll also smell like alcohol because you have to have alcohol to get extract. Anyway, also I got this from work and Hi. it's a wait no come here. I gotta go. Dad, no, I showed I showed them in the video. They have to have a happy ending about it. It's a peanut butter chocolate rice crispy. I tried it and I didn't like it because I don't like peanut butter. What do you think? Mm. It's a little crunchy. A little, a little peanut buttery. You like peanut butter? I do, but it's, it's a lot. Is that really peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, there's my hair. Y'all, do the things that you have to do at the end of a video, okay? Like it. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Oh, no. She's left her phone. I'll be right back. I went and gave her her phone real quick. She would have been mad. Um, okay, so, but yeah, do all the things that you do at the end of the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. That's what like means, okay? Um, comment in the comment section. If you've made your own homemade vanilla extract before, if you're going to do it now that you've seen me try, and um, tell me what your favorite recipe that has vanilla in it is. Um, mine is my um, crustless New York style cheesecake. Very yummy. Um, and if you want, I can make a video about how to make that in the future. Of course, duh, because you can't do it in the past or now because I'm doing this video. And I don't know your comments yet. Someone just texted me. All right, but it was my mother. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. But okay, goodbye guys. I love y'all. Especially you, TC. And Margie. And Jackie Sailor, love you. You're great, I met you at a, pla at a place and you had a really cool scooter. It was really awesome. I liked it. I got to ride on it. It was electric. Um, just like our car. Just like the Tesla. Anyway, this is, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Bye.